Hi, I'm Andrea Cabana. I am the varsity coach for Grass Lake High School. I have Gabby Leschka, who is a junior at Grass Lake. I have Avery Cabana, who is a senior, and Lexi Vargaser, who is also a junior. Um, I would like just to say thank you for everything. This year has been amazing. Obviously, getting to this point is extremely special, um, especially considering the year that we're in. Um, I feel like we are dodging bullets left and right, and so, so to finally get to this point is, is nothing short of amazing. Um, I definitely want to give uh, my girls and entire team credit for um, this entire season. Um, I would say that it was, I, I always say it was a, it's a total team, total program effort to get to this point, and this year is the epitome of that. Um, we were able to play younger girls and JV girls throughout the tournament to protect uh, varsity girls from any possible quarantine, which has gotten us or uh, allowed us to get to this point safely. Um, and, and the varsity girls were thrilled and excited for them in those wins. And then, you know, when we get to the final games like this, the varsity girls um, are safe, are able to play, are healthy, um, and the girls on the bench are excited for them as well. So, um, and it's been absolutely exciting. Um, it is definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity for these girls. Um, and every single person within this program deserves just so much credit for getting us to, to where we are. Can you talk about Gabby's three-point shooting that you guys Absolutely. So uh, Gabby's three-point shooting certainly got us going. Um, Gabby is a very high percentage three-point shooter. Um, she she actually currently holds the MHSA, MHSA record um, from last season, which was 16 in one game. Um, so she is is certainly um, you know one of our top shooters. We, we as a team are a very high percentage shooting team. We shoot over 40% from the three point line. Um, I don't know if we did that tonight, um, but um, certainly that is something that we pride ourselves on at Grass Lake. Gabby, did you have any, uh, a lot of kids struggle here because of the background. You didn't have that happen to you? Yeah, so we played at uh Ypsilanti, Lincoln, it's the same type of thing with the, a bunch of space behind the court, or the hoop, and so I was kind of used to it from our uh, quarterfinal game coming in today, so. Alexis, you were really grinding on those free throws. You could just see the concentration coming out of your, coming out of your ears. Tell, tell us about what you're thinking at that point. Um, honestly, my whole career, it's always, shoot your free throws like you're in the state championship game, so. I mean, going up to the line, that's all I was thinking about, and just thinking, like, I'm just shooting free throws like normal, like I do a practice, and just stay focused, and believe in myself to knock them down. What made that team so tough today? I think they had a really good defense, and that kind of sent us a little bit. We watched some film, and we were thinking we'd be able to get in easier, but, I mean, as we went through the game, we were able to adjust and find ways to get to the hoop. Um, Kent said he's a phenomenal team. They have they have great players. Um, they are very disciplined. Lots of lots of back screens and screening away, and you know which requires us to be extremely disciplined on defense. And it took us a minute to to find a uh, defense that would work on them. Um, once we did, it, it got a little bit easier. But um, they definitely proud of the girls for adjusting to it. Coach, you talk about your schedule this year, a tough schedule to Yeah, we um, very intentionally had a very tough schedule this year. Um, we we want to play the best. Our philosophy is we want to play the best. We want to see how good we really are. So we played um, Detroit Renaissance, um, Chandler Park, Arbor Prep, and, Edison. and Detroit Edison. Um, Detroit Edison got us uh, by... 50, 12 or 15, but we, we were able to beat the rest of them. And, and that's definitely by design and very intentional. We want to be pushed to our limits. Um, teams like that will expose every weakness you have. And so we're able to, um, you know, work on the things that are, or work on things that need to be adjusted, um, you know, for big games like this. For any of the girls, I heard one of you say, you know, like, my adrenaline is gone right now. Oh, and that was just, me. Yeah, well, just explain what you're thinking, all of it. Right now, oh, well, this is actually next. Yeah, so this has been kind of our goal, especially for the past two, three years, just to get to this point. And so, to finally have it and to finally win a state championship is just, I don't even know, I can't, I have yeah, no words to explain. It's definitely it. our dream, it's definitely uh, came true. We've been dreaming about this for a while now, especially these last four years, and we finally got it done. So, it's all glory to God for getting us here. So, yeah. yeah, I feel so proud of our team and how we all just pulled through and didn't let the pressure get to us. and. 
I mean, truly, this is like the best thing that any basketball player can imagine happen to them. And <laughs> yeah. to be able to go and say yeah. we won a state championship <laughs> is truly such a blessing. Yeah. Does it make it even more special with all the craziness and everything from this year? And you know, you're there wearing masks right now. And all that? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I, I think it, it definitely, you know, I think it's maybe a little bit more rewarding because there are so many more obstacles that we've had to jump through and things we were concerned about to try to get here or, you know, to try not to find ourselves in a quarantine situation. I mean, we were quarantined for 10 days after the Renaissance game. And, um, you know, after that, we did everything in our power to um, ensure that that didn't happen again, obviously, which is why we played some of the younger girls during the um, during the tour tournament, the girls themselves were willing to um, give certain things up and kind of put themselves in a bubble. They um, were all, these three were all online. They weren't hanging out with friends or boyfriends, um, weren't getting their hair, hair done and their nails done and things like that. So they were willing to give up some of those extra, you know, uh, fun girl things in order to keep themselves safe. So, um, but you know, they, it, it's a big stage there. They, I thought they handled it very well. Um, my girls are, are very mature this year. They've been very business-like. I've said that numerous times. They, they get in, get the job done, and get out. And, and this is this is a testament to that. They, they were definitely a, a very talkative there at the end of the game. I think things were escalating quickly for them, but for the most part, um, I thought they were they were pretty. They played pretty solid and, and relaxed throughout the game. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Go ahead.